So Max, can you tell me about the uniqueness of this product that makes uh, makes it so unique? Uh, one of the more challenging aspects of this, Sandy, was just it's such a long casting, um, and you can kind of see in the tool, it has a tendency one to cool towards the runner when it solidifies, which makes not a straight casting something the customer can't use. So we have to hold this casting within 60 thousandths, which is very simple and generous if it's a smaller chunk, but something along the range of 20 inches is kind of challenging. It's something we've been dealing with online and during production. Well, something that long, um, if you didn't optimize it for this and gate it properly, what would happen to it? It would bend like a pretzel, banana, rainbow, one of those uh, synonyms is probably the best way of putting it. Okay, so how did you work with the customer to come up with this type of design? What did the customer give you? Well, the customer gave us the print with the spec on it that was much smaller, so the first thing we did was actually work with them to try to grow it as much as we can. Um, the casting itself goes between two pieces of sheet metal, so it is important that it is held restrained but it didn't need to be held as tight as they were asking, so that was really step one. Mm -hmm. um, step two was when we designed the trim tool, we wanted to do so where it almost helped to straighten it when it was out just ever so slightly. Um, if the casting's bent a lot when it's cast, it, the trim tool won't work, but if it's off just a little, it should help to try to bring it back in. Um, and the third thing, which is really critical that we've been doing, is we added two holes on all three of these castings, actually, that we use to help restrain the part when we machine it. So even if it is out a little bit, when we machine it, we help to bring it back in, and then when we machine it, it kind of helps to solidify that straightness. So you're able to hold much tighter tolerances and um, make sure that we're producing a great part? Yes, definitely. Um, it is still something that we can't achieve all the time, so there are questions that are brought up, but yeah. It is, um, it's definitely something we've worked hard and we're doing very well these days. Good. Did this uh, save the customer any cost in doing it this way? Um, I believe the customer may have started out with hog outs on there, which was much straighter of course, but also way more expensive. Mm -hmm. So going to the die casting, especially zinc, which is the tooling will last forever, it's uh, definitely a cost savings there. Right, right. And that actually does look like a, a hogged out uh, casting and it mm -hmm. resembles it quite a bit. Yeah, one of the other challenges that we've had on this part um, was actually the finish. While the part isn't necessarily cosmetic, it does have to maintain a surface finish and a certain kind of finish in order to be acceptable with the rest of the components. Um, we actually started out with this finish, which was a nickel plating, which is one of the more expensive platings. Um, ended up going to zinc, which is a more economical finish, but it just didn't really have that wow factor we were looking for. So in the end, we actually went back to nickel, and that's kind of how you get these this almost chrome-plated kind of look. Sure, sure. Okay.